Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. These questions are all about birth control pills. First question. I have been having some excruciating period pains since when I started my period. I'm now 18 and it's only gotten worse. Would the pill be a good option to see if the pain stops? Yes, yes. Birth control pills are wonderful options for helping to control the period cramps as well as the flow. Um, and they can also help with other things if you have hormonally linked acne. Uh, but birth control pills are wonderful at helping control cramps as well as bleeding. So definitely worth trying them out, especially if you've already tried some other um, good pain medicines like ibuprofen or naproxen. So a uh, great option for you. Question number two. How do I ask my mom to be on birth control when she doesn't know I'm having sex? Okay, so there are a few different options here. First, you could tell her and say, Mom, I am sexually active. I want to be responsible and prevent pregnancy. I'd like to be on birth control. That's not an option for everybody. So, second option, talk to your mom about the benefits that birth control can provide. Besides pregnancy protection, birth control is great at what I just talked about, which is improving cramps as well as if you have a heavy flow and if you're anemic. So if you lose so much blood that you have some low blood levels, some low hemoglobin levels, that's worth talking about. And acne. So there are other reasons for using birth control pills, so it might be great to bring those up with your mom. The third option is not telling. And I don't support lying to parents, but I do support teens being responsible and safe. So there are some options for getting birth control. Depending on the place that you live, and especially in the United States, um, depending on the state that you live in, it is possible to get birth control without your parents knowing. You can either look online at websites like thepillclub.com and they can potentially send you birth control, or you can talk to your doctor about your desire to be on birth control without your parents there. If you aren't sure if this is an option where you live, call the office first and just say, hey, I want to see my doctor about birth control. I'm wondering if this will be confidential. And that'll give you your answer. That's your script right there, and that will give you your answer. So. A few different options for you, but you should also be applauded for being responsible. Very good job. Question number three. Hey, hey, I'm 17 and looking to take birth control, but I take doxycycline for my acne. I'm wondering if that decreases the effectiveness of the birth control pill. Nope, it doesn't. So there are a handful of medicines that do interact with birth control pills, and really a pharmacist should give you guidance on those if you are taking both at the same time, but those are gonna be some different types of anti-seizure medicines. Rifampin, which is an antibiotic. Griseofulvin, which is an antifungal. And a few different types of HIV medicines. And that's basically it as well as some natural herbs and supplements like St. John's wort, but overall there aren't many medicines that actually interfere with birth control, which is great. So it also should be noted that some of the medicines I just listed can interact with Depo and Nexplanon too, So, um, but those would be it. So if you're on those as well, you can look into those medicines, but no major interactions. Question number four. Can I skip my period pills on birth control and start my next month ones right away so I don't get a period? Yeah, totally. So this is what's called continuous birth control, 
And there are actually some forms of the birth control pill that are given in a 90 day supply, which is really helpful. Um, I would advise if you're going to take the pills back to back, skipping the placebo week, talk to your doctor so that you can regulate the timing of your prescription refills so that you aren't waiting. Um, but you could also tell your doctor and they could potentially give you that huge 90 day pill pack. The way we use continuous birth control is that we do the pills back to back to back, but we do encourage having a period four times a year. So again, that's why I say a 90 day pill pack is because we give you about three months worth and then at the end of that three months you'll have a period, but it's a great option and it's totally safe. And question number five, is it safe to take continuous birth control pills at 16? Sure, it absolutely is. Um, again, you would take them continuously and usually allow yourself about four periods a year. The age, the only thing I would say to being 16 is that before we start birth control, we usually like to see that the person has had a period that is well established for a couple of years, meaning that you're pretty regular. So other than that, it's very safe and a wonderful option to reduce the number of periods that you have, which I'm a fan of. And that'll do it for this round of birth control pill questions. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.